Give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. It holds a lot of challenge for us. You know, the first thing that we want to do as a, as a beginning program, as a first-year coach, is that we want to make sure that we build some platforms and some uh, fundamentals within our, our kids as fast as we can. We did some of that in our, our spring ball period, but uh, we'll, we'll start off our, our practices and our early season uh, work with the idea that we're going to be a disciplined team. Uh, we're going to be a team that, that works hard every day and, and, and can give great effort every day on every play. Uh, that being said, we also have to pretty quickly get into our game prep because we play one of the best opponents uh, Austin P has ever played in the University of Tennessee in our, in our first game. And we want to be good uh, that first game. We need to be good that first game. And uh, it makes for a great challenge, but it's one we're looking forward to. What type of offense and defense will your team run? Well, defensively, you know, right now, if you want to defend every offense that's being run out there, you need to have good team speed. And, uh, we're going to try to be uh, very fundamental up front, you know, get the play started well on defense, and then hope that we can uh, have players that are conditioned well enough and that have enough inherent speed uh, to be competitive and, and, and chase some things down and keep our plays very small. Offensively, uh, what we are right now and what we hope to be at some point, you know, are, are, it's kind of a, a building uh, stage there. We want to make sure that we're very careful with the football and that we're a low penalty team early until we can teach um, an offense that's going to be pri primarily a, a passing offense. That's what we'd like to become at, at Austin P. But there, there are stages to that. And uh, we're going to, uh, again, concentrate on those fundamentals on offense until we can begin to make it a little more jazzed up. What type of offense and defense will your team run? Well, um, if you just went with the tactical names of them, we're a 4-2-5 on defense. Uh, offensively, uh, we'll be a, a pistol team uh, and line up in that formation early. Uh, and then as the down and distance uh, forces to, we'll probably break that up and end up playing some three and four wide receiver sets and, and seeing if we can't uh, throw the ball around and challenge the whole field. What do you like most about your team this year? Well, I like the idea that they have paid attention to me. Um, when I first came here, you know, as a coach, there, you, you try to shock them into understanding that there's a, there's a new boss in town. And uh, they have really done a great job of just saying, Coach, tell us how to win. Tell us what we need to do to become a good football program. And they've done that. Um, you know, you'll have your ups and downs in the season. You'll have your question marks if a decision goes bad. Uh, but I, I still think they believe in me. Uh, they, they believe in what we're teaching them as a staff. And uh, that's, that's exciting for, for me as a coach, that, that they really, really want to be better. And uh, we're going to try to take advantage of that enthusiasm. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? I think the biggest challenge will be uh, to be a good football team on day one. You know, my coaching belief is that uh, coaching takes effect over time. Uh, and I always want to be a program that plays its best football in November and, and potentially in December uh, if you're fortunate enough to be a, a playoff team. Uh, but the challenge this year is to take a team uh, and have it ready to play its best football when it needs to. When you open up with two SEC opponents uh, in state, um, you're going to need to be good early, uh, particularly if you're going to use those games to build your program into the OVC season. What are your general impressions of well, I, historically, and one of the things that attracted me into the OVC as a head coach is, is just how balanced the league is. When you can have uh, many examples of teams going from last to first and from first to last, it tells you that there's probably not that much difference between the team that's picked last and the team that's picked first. Uh, and, and that's exciting for players to know that we don't have a, a conference that has a big three and, and little six or, or something to that effect. If, if you get better in the OVC, it shows up on game day. Well, we have one of the most challenging schedules in the FCS level and really probably in all of college football. We play five straight games on the road to open our season. Uh, we play three uh, FBS teams. Um, that's that's going to get everybody's attention. Uh, it, it makes for a very, very difficult start to our season. But uh, I, again, the real good football player and the real good football coach needs those challenges, and they'll respond to those challenges. And I anticipate that uh, our staff and our, and our team will respond to that challenge of schedule.